Hey all, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your very own coffee activity feed for OBS Studio. So if you've ever watched one of my previous video gaming tutorials you know that I usually start by doing a demonstration, a demo of what I'm talking about. We are going to do that in this video as well but before we do that, before we do the demonstration I just want to quickly talk about what coffee actually is, give you a quick demonstration of what it is. Okay, so let me just give you a quick, quick introduction what coffee is. So if you are a content creator or a live streamer, you have most likely been using a service like Stream Elements or Stream Labs. And if you've done that, you've most likely created a tipping page. For example, this is the tipping page for Stream Labs. And this is the tipping page for Stream Elements. So what coffee is, is basically a combination of Stream Elements tipping page, stream labs, tipping page, buy me a coffee, fan house where you can upload content such as images and blog posts, very much like OnlyFans is. So what coffee basically is a combination of all these services into one, but it has some unique perks to it. So as an example, I'm just going to show you my coffee page here. So this is my coffee page. And as you can see here, just like Stream Elements and Stream Labs, you can take in tips. Anyone can give me a tip here one time, but you can also have memberships like Patreon. And these are monthly subscription. Like Patreon, you can have your own tiers. For example, here, there is a $2 per month tier. And down here, I've, I've just done this as an example, a $10 per month membership. So apart from giving tips directly as one-time tips or recurring monthly subscriptions or memberships, you can also have your own gallery and you can upload your own content there and you can decide that everyone who gives me a tip can access these and you can create your own posts and you can even have your own shop, which is really cool, where you can sell physical and digital items. But you can also have like a goal here, text, and so on. So it is a pretty cool service. So if I just go to my settings here, you will actually see more stuff. So one cool thing with Kofi compared with the other alternatives here is that it basically doesn't take any fee. So if someone tips you $2, you will get $2. If someone tips you $20, you will get $20. So they don't actually take any fee from tips. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, okay, if coffee doesn't take any fees, how do they earn money? Well, there is a gold membership you can activate and that will give you additional features, but it is actually a flat rate of $6 per month. So instead of taking a percentage of all your tips going in, it takes a flat rate of $6 and this is how they earn money. So I've been using coffee more and more and the more I use it, the more I like the system because you combine everything into one place, basically. So that was a quick introduction of what coffee is. So let's move over to the activity feed for OBS Studio. So I just want to give you a quick introduction of that as well before we continue. So like I said earlier in this video, if you are a live streamer, for example, if you're a Twitch streamer or if you're a YouTube gaming streamer, you have most likely been using a service like Stream Elements or Stream Labs to receive tips. That means that you've probably also added an activity feed in your OBS Studio. So let me minimize this and I'm going to open up my OBS Studio and this is the activity feed for stream elements and here you can basically see all your followers when people have donated and things like that. So what I've done here is I've created my own tool but it is for coffee. So this is basically an activity meter for coffee. So if someone tips you through coffee or if someone becomes a recurring monthly member it will show up in this activity feed. So let me just actually put this next to each other. And as you can see here, this is basically a list of activities here. So it says here, John Smith has donated $3. This is just test data here, but it says John Smith has donated $3. Someone has bought an item for $2, so on and so on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own coffee activity feed and put it in OBS Studio, very similarly probably to how you've done it with Stream Elements or Stream Labs in your OBS. And we're going to do this step by step step together. Okay, so let me minimize OBS here again and bring up my website. Let me close all these tabs I've opened up. 
So we will be creating our very own coffee activity feed for OBS Studio now. And I've created a tool for this on my personal website. So as usual, there is a link in the description beneath this video. And if you click on that link, you will come to this page here. And we are basically just going to do this together step by step. So you will actually see how you can create your own activity feed and put it in OBS. So, okay, so the only thing we need to do here is basically enter our coffee webhook. But since we haven't done anything previously, we have not created a coffee webhook. So it says here, in order to create a coffee activity feed, you must previously created a coffee webhook. So we haven't done that before, so we need to do that here. If you haven't done this before, click on this button and you will redirect it to another tool. So since we're doing this from scratch, step by step, we need to create a webhook first. So let me click on this button and this will redirect us to another tool I've created. So this is like the first step in order to create an activity feed. And here it says, if you want to use any of my coffee related tools I've created, you need to generate a webhook URL. So by adding this webhook in your coffee API settings, it will start to send transactions such as donations, tips and shop orders to my web server. So the only way we can create this activity feed is if my web server actually receives all the tips in order to display them in OBS. And this is pretty straightforward. So the only thing we need to do here is to press this create webhook button. And in order to do that, we need to type in our super secret password. So if you don't know what a super secret password is, basically click on this button here and it will tell you the password. So let me just type in the password here and then I'm going to create my webhook. Okay, so our webhook has now been created and it is basically this long URL. So the next step we need to do is to add this in our coffee page. But before we do that, I just have a few things I need to explain. The first thing is that this URL here contains a secret key. And you should not share this URL or the secret key to anyone else because if it becomes public, someone could actually obtain all the data you're sending to my web server. So as you can see here, it is this long key here and this is auto-generated here. It doesn't really matter I show you the key here right now in this video because I'm not going to be sending any data through this webhook. I'm just showing you what I'm talking about. So this key is very sensitive and you should protect this key and do not share it with anyone else. So, and as you can read here, I've written a lot about this key and the security behind it. But the bottom line is keep it as a secret. Do not share this with anyone. So the second thing I want to mention here is that as soon as we start to use our webhook URL in the coffee settings page, it will start to send my web server data. And in order to be EU GDPR compliant and other privacy laws, I've decided that all data that comes into my server will be deleted automatically after 30 days. So any tips or donations you receive through coffee, which is sent to my web server will be automatically deleted after 30 days. Okay, so that was the two things I just wanted to mention. So let's continue. So what we need to do here is to copy this URL. Let's copy it. And down here you can see I've written a small guide on how to actually use it in the coffee settings page. So what we need to do here is to open up our coffee API settings page and I've done a shortcut button here. So let's simply click on this button and it will open up this page for us. Okay, so what we basically just need to do here is to paste in our webhook URL, press update, and that is it. So by doing this step here, you are sending tips and donations to my web server. And that is the first step in order to create our activity feed. So let's head back to our web page. Awesome. Okay, so we are back at where we started now. So if you remember what I said earlier is that we need to paste in our webhook here as well. And this is required because my web server needs to know what key was auto-generated for you. So I don't know that, only you know your own key. But in order to connect everything together, we need to specify our URL here again. So I'm just going to paste in my webhook URL here again, and I'm going to create my activity feed. Okay, nice. So our activity feed has now been created. So it is basically this URL here. So what we are going to do here is basically copy this URL and add it as a custom browser doc in OBS Studio. So I've done a quick guide below here on how to do that. So the first step here is to copy the browser source URL. So let's do that by clicking on this button. 
Okay, so it is now copied. Then we need to open up our OBS Studio here again. So I'm going to minimize this and opening up my OBS Studio. Then we're going over to the View menu. Open up Docs, Custom Browser Docs. And here we are basically just going to create a new doc. So I'm just going to put this Coffee Activity Feed. And we're going to paste in the URL we have in the memory here. And then I'm going to press apply. And as you can see, this is our activity feed. So I'm going to close down this browser docs window and we can place this wherever you want to in OBS. So it could be down here, it could be here, but I'm going to put it next to the stream elements here. Nice, okay, so our activity feed is now in OBS Studio. So the next thing we can do is actually to send some test data. So let me minimize um, OBS here again, and I'm going to open up my web page here. And if you scroll down here, I've done a quick tutorial on how to do that as well, how to send test donations. So on your API page in Coffee, there is actually a button called send test. So if you have closed down your API settings page, you can click on this button here and it will open up Coffee. But I believe that it is already this tab over here. So what we can do here is basically just send a test donation to see that everything works. So I'm just going to press this button here and then I'm going to open up my OBS here again. And we will see in a few seconds that our tip has gone through here. OK, so it just appeared now and it says six seconds ago. John Smith donated $3 with the message, good luck with the integration. So that was basically just a test donation by Coffee. However, all donations and tips you will receive through Coffee now will be shown in this activity feed in OBS Studio. And that is pretty awesome. So that's basically it. So this was a quick video guide on how you can create your own Coffee activity feed and add it as a custom browser doc in OBS. So you can easily see when someone gives you a tip or becomes a member on your Coffee page in your OBS Studio. So as always, if you thought that this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. If you like the gaming content I create on my YouTube, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.